going on everybody so z flip um just got it delivered here just a few short minutes ago i don't think this is going to be a very long unboxing considering uh <laughs> box is absolutely tiny now but what we'll do is we'll do um we'll do the unboxing kind of do a quick device tour and uh kind of give some initial first impressions on it z flip 3 5g very excited jesse's very excited to get this thing in our hands and to uh get to use it so we won't we won't waste any more time we'll get this thing unboxed and get it going so as you can see very very small box no charger included that's definitely more than a little bit frustrating um for a lot of people but you know sign of the times i guess you're also not going to find a headphone jack on there so you know is what it is all right there you go so they're not wasting a whole lot of your time getting into this thing you're up front and center dump this bad boy out is there even anything else in <laughs> what else is even in the box at this point you've got your sim tool uh in there obviously well they did at least give you a usb k uh c cable right i mean you know no charger but at least there's that that's something I mean, we'll keep the usb c cable it's a pretty decent feeling pretty normal pretty normal c cable but Main attraction is the Flip 3, and this is in the lavender color, and it it looks it looks pretty good. Pretty good. Um, let's see, how do we start? It's it's in a, it's in I mean it's totally encased <laughs> in uh in plastic here. So let's see, where do I I guess I can grab a hold of it here. Yeah. There we go. And then you can peel down from there and there you go okay so the first thing i want to see is how does this screen protector feel and look and i would say it feels very similar to the if you didn't see the latest video that i just posted the screen protector i just replaced on my z fold that feels very, very similar, and it feels good. That's that's the first thing I'll tell you, is that it doesn't have the Z Fold 2 and Z Flip 5G, which was the two. It doesn't have that kind of grippy texture um, at all. This glass back does feel quite nice as well. Okay, I guess there's one thing we gotta do. Well, let's, okay, let's fold it first, right? We gotta fold it. So, first fold. Ooh. Feels good. The hinge feels nice and stiff, nice and rigid. Does it have a nice clunking sound when it closes? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Similar, similar to the fold, right? Although the fold is quite a bit, <laughs> quite a bit more substantial. But that is very small. I mean, here's like a Pixel 3 for like size comparison. I mean, that's that's gonna be extremely pocketable and then as for that uh you know the little you can see can i get a reflection there you can kind of see the divot there um it's going to be that's i don't think that's as deep of a valley as it is in the fold no it's definitely not it's definitely not as deep um let's go around the device here so we've got obviously USB C. you've got a speaker down here a microphone array there You've got on the side, fingerprint scanner slash power button, volume, rocker, uh, nothing over here except your SIM, uh, SIM tool area, which um, I don't know, is this, does this have, ex does this have expansion or not? Nope, just a single SIM tray there, no big deal. Um, you've got a standard and an ultra wide as well as a very large cover display. Um, I'd really do like this, this a lavender color. All right, let's fire it up and see how we look with it on, because I want to see what the screen protector looks like um, with an actual image being displayed through it. Doing our first boot here, and okay, so, I mean, yeah. I, I, would I even guess there was a screen protector on this? Is there? There definitely is, but you really can't tell. Uh, we will be doing a uh, several, you know, we're probably going to do a review discussion, which will basically take the form of a podcast where me and Jesse will talk about it because she's going to be daily driving this thing. 
um, then we will probably do a proper review review. We will also do a camera review and comparison, probably do comparative pictures with the fold, um, just to give you an idea of what the, the camera looks like in action. And uh, then we also have the Buds 2, also in lavender, of course. These will get their own video, so we're not going to be talking about them today. And then I guess while this is um, while this is starting up, we can talk about this because we got we went and got the silicone uh, cover with the ring as well, um, Darren. Yeah, this will be this will be Jessie's to use. Um, she's quite excited about it. I like that it's it's um it's flat. Obviously, duh, it's a folding screen, but I like that it's flat. I don't I don't really love full uh, curved over the edge display. So I'm actually. Quite, quite happy with how that feels. So this is the silicone cover that it comes with because uh, my wife is a little bit of a, how can I put this nicely? She drops things. So um, we're gonna put this silicone cover on it. This feels pretty nice. I was worried that it would feel super rubbery, but it doesn't. Huh, I think I quite like how this feels actually. And then it's got, ooh, this is more premium than I expected it to be. This is actually really quite nice. It help hold things in place. And then you've got this ring to stick your finger through while you're holding the phone to make it easier to hold on to. I think that's actually quite nice. Um, the fingerprint scanner is really high. It's up very high on the device. That may take a little bit of getting used to, especially for her diminutively uh, tiny, <laughs> tiny hands. Let's see here. Can we get this thing in there? Does it does it just slide? Pull these bad boys off. Does it just slide in or do I have to pop it in a second while we do this? Yeah, easy as that. I I think that's quite nice. And holding on to it like that suddenly makes the fingerprint scanner less awkward <laughs> to reach up there and grab. And that is a very fast fingerprint scanner. Go figure. I think she's going to like that. It, there and exactly that's that is why that's there and I think that's awesome. How does it look whenever it's closed? I think that's okay. I like I like the uh, I like the lavender look overall with it. I think that's not so bad. Look at that. I like it. Okay, let's uh, let's sign into our Samsung account. I believe probably just need to use Google sign in here. Okay, so there, there. I mean, first thing you're going to notice here, especially that she's going to notice, is this thing is so much bigger <laughs> than her Pixel 5. However, the thing she's going to love is that it can get way smaller than her Pixel 5. Granted, it is wider by a, you know, large margin, but is that's going to be able to fit in her pocket now, whereas this was a bit difficult. Stop waking up. Let's look here. Let's make a, a quick a quick impression here of the camera. And it looks like the same interface that I'm used to on on the flip or on the fold rather. Wide angle standard. And then we've got our selfie camera which is not under display so it doesn't suck. I guess I should look at the uh, the cover display, right? I haven't talked about that. So there's your cover display. I guess we can go back to the uh, to the overhead, and I can show you that. So if you double tap on it, we get that. And I guess you're supposed to be able to swipe through, swipe around. There we go. So that's your notifications, which you can clear from here. If she got a text message. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at all the emails coming in, babe. Clean out your inbox. <laughs> Music alarms, timer, and you can add more widgets. So that's quite cool. What about, what happens if you, can you go into the camera? Is there a way to launch the camera? Okay, yeah, so if you, if you flip around to the normal camera and hit that button up there, cover screen preview is now on. You can do that and it went away. Why did it go away? Oh, I see, because that was actually not for me. That was for the person I'm taking a picture of. So they can see what the photo is going to look like. I think there's supposed to be a way, though, to take a picture using just the cover display. Maybe I'm crazy. Close the phone and double press the power button. 
Good idea. Close the phone, power button twice, boom, there's the camera, well done, thank you. So you swipe to change the mode, shoot pictures or video. So now we're on photo, swipe again, now we're on video, boom. There you go. So I wonder if you use the volume key to take a picture? You do, volume key then takes the picture. So you can take a, uh, <laughs> take a quick little selfie that you can see, um, there's my Sony Alpha 6100. 6100 if I can talk. Pretty cool, thank you. Well done, Prototype DC. One thing I'm, I'm impressed with though is how shallow it feels, the little decrease there. It, it feels more shallow than on the Z Fold 2. And it's less noticeable when you're, when you're looking at it. Like, it's actually quite, you can see it, but it's quite hard to see. But if I do the same thing with the Fold, you can see it, I feel like, much more readily, much more easily. That is, that is pretty interesting. Pretty impressive stuff. I made a mess next to me. What about, what about the pocket test? Let's just see how it feels in your pocket. Granted, right my pockets are going to be bigger than her pockets, but, you know, pair, pair of normal little khakis. And that thing feels absolutely, absolutely tiny in the pocket compared to what I've been used to. In particular, compared to the Z Fold, which feels enormous. That's quite good. I think it looks very good. What about um, maybe do some uh, do some gaming on it, right? Have like a like a like a Game Boy style setup. That could be that could be pretty good too. Well, guys, I think I'm gonna wrap up the stream uh, here because I don't think I have much more to say at the moment. However, um, I will be like I said, we will have a camera review. Uh, we're probably going to go out either tonight or tomorrow morning and go take a bunch of pictures and, and do kind of a camera review. Um, there'll be a review discussion and a full review in the next coming uh, days as well. I'll have a video unboxing and getting first impressions of the Buds too, which yes, are lavender as well to match, and she's quite excited about that. And all that stuff will be coming very soon. So thanks for swinging by and watching this quick unboxing. I hope that you guys did enjoy it.